if you have a metal roof that's leaking at the seams you have to watch this video because I want to show you three different ways how you can repair the seams permanently and you'll never have to worry about it again let's get going we're removing the screws on this entire seam See, using a grinder to lift the panels up like that. See that? I want to show you how we got this panels lifted up and what we use is a shovel. Good, and I'm going to show you a very unique, very nice way how to fix this roof so you never have a problem. I want you to see the rust here. The water was accumulating right on the seams here. You can see there as well. And the reason is because they had a coating over this roof and it was diverting the water underneath the seam. Only that section. You can see only about an inch and inch and a half. So, and what I need to do is grind just take a uh, clean this uh, 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 caulking and gook off here and let me show you how I do that take an angle grinder smallest one you can get Milwaukee makes a nice one but I they don't sponsor me okay I got your tape watch this see the pitting there it's gone through there it's all pitted. This is pitted and it's rust around the way the screw hole was. And there, you see the pitting there? So it's very important. So I'm going to put turbo poly seal here like I did with all of the other ones there. And that's the idea. So when you when you see the rust, it's, it's rusty there and put it, you can fix it. This rust, let me show you. Make, let's clean it up. It's okay. I like, I like to use lacquer thinners, okay. This is fine here, but then in a hole there, so this is badly rusted. So instead of putting a, uh, a metal insert, I want to show you how easy I can fix this. I cut myself a fleece. I put it on there. I clean it with lacquer thinners. And then I put a coating of this, turbo poly seal, right there, right there. Watch this. This is very simple. I think it's more effective than the metal. Uh, if you have even bigger holes, met, uh, rusted holes through, you can use this very effectively. There's no way water will penetrate the turbo poly seal. This is a seal that will prevent it from rusting. All right. Like that. Now, I add my fleece and you secure a roof 100% there is no reason to replace this roof no reason look at that beautiful now the holes are covered that's it now what I'm, my plan is not to put this metal down uh, the the panel down over that today. I want this to cure for at least one day. After it cured, I'll come and screw the other panel on top of it and that would be perfect. All right, full fix. Now I'll show you tomorrow when I come what it looks like and when we put the screw panels down. All right, until tomorrow. Uh, turbo poly seal, but here I want to show you now we did this whole um, seam with turbo poly seal and overnight we left it to cure so it's slightly cured this you can feel it I can touch it and it's not gooey uh, uh, all right that up. so that's nice and flat now I want to grind the, the screws off where the screws were sit where the washers and the screws are. So you want to get that nice and smooth again. All right. So I got
got this nice and clean now. All I do, I put a, a nice screw. You can see it's a much thicker screw. So I put a thicker screw in and it will hold better. So here we go. Beautiful. That is that's going to save this roof for many, many, many years to come. Tight, tight, tight. That is super, super, super nice. Now this roof is guaranteed. Guaranteed not to leak. So, um, what I did was I want to make sure you understand. I covered the screw holes on the bottom one with a turbo poly seal as well. So this is going to be a, you can see the screw holes are covered. This one is not covered. See there's a screw hole there, there. But I covered these, you can see that. So when I put the, the panel down, it's going to go and seal around it as well. This is a very, very good seal. Now, so you can see this was rusted through. And I need to fix this. I could not do this with a tube of, uh, with a, the, the fleece. It's not going to work. So I'm using a. I, I took a, a metal panel like this, and I bend it, and I just put it in here. Let me show you. So this is what I how I fix this part. Right in there. Yeah, it's okay. So you take this block out. <laughs> I insert my metal panel here and I screw it down for places where I cannot fix it with turbo poly seal. Look at that. Unbelievable. You can see now that um, this is a good repair. So there's two ways to go about it. Galvanized uh, piece of metal I bent and that's when I cannot fix it if it's too rusted. But when it's just put it and there's some holes and stuff like that, I did it with a turbo poly seal, I think that's a better repair because it will prevent it from rusting again. And it seals it at the same time. All right, there's your repair. It's a must do for anybody with an old metal roof. If you don't do this, you're gonna lose your roof. You're gonna lose your, you're gonna have to replace it. I think you don't need to replace any metal roof. Most metal roofs are repairable. It's cost, it takes a little bit of cost and money. Um, yeah, I just put it down flat. So, as you can see, we did this entire seam that was one way to do it, one method. The method was to lift this up, to lift this panel up and do the fleece underneath and it works really, really well. I like this method. Now, here's the other way we're gonna do it. Instead of lifting it up, we're gonna go with a fleece over this. So, which one do I prefer? If you can do it this way, it's better. This would be my second choice. Um, but we're running out of time and we want to get this done. So you need to clean and people don't get it. They want to go over existing stuff. We don't. You have to clean this. Clean this. And this is what we do now. We're cleaning the section. <laughs> This is how bad it is. See the, water, the, the rust completely through there and uh, water coming out of here. So this is holding water. You don't want to do that. So now this is clean and I'll put a fleece over that. All right. So I hope you can see that. Um, I dab the screws and come with my fleece. Roll it on. 
like that. Watch that. Look how nice that is. See that? Beautiful. So this gallon, uh, how many feet do I get? 10, 20, 30. I'll probably get 50 feet out of a gallon. So it doesn't go too far, very expensive. But that's how it works. Good stuff. I never have to worry about this again. My next step is to come and protect this against UVs. And this is how I'm gonna do it, let me show you. So I use silver coating, silver coat protection. Um, right there, you can see that. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And and then I take a roller. Uh, let's see if I can do this. I mix it pretty good. And all I do is I roll this on. Just over the screws there. Let me get my eye this roller. Okay, here we go. Over the screws, over there over there and then that's it i do all the the entire it's just to protect it against ultraviolets it's brutal on these roofs so the best thing is um you don't have to protect it but it's good it's a very good policy because it will last maybe double twice as long so and that's what i do i i protect the turbo poly seal again. All right, this is about two hours af after I uh, did the turbo poly seal over the seam. And look, it's touch dry. Very nice. And I'm, I'm already protect, uh, do a silver coating on it. So you can do that. As soon as it's uh, touch dry, you can uh, coat it and protect it. You don't need to wait any longer than that. You can wait a month if you want to, but there's no need to. I get asked the question a lot, which product do I like the most, uh, I prefer or what I suggest? Super silicone seal or turbo poly seal? Here's turbo poly seal and here's super silicone seal. All right, now I'm gonna show you, I use them both. Uh, turbo poly seal, that's what I started off with, but I like super silicone seal just as well, just as much. I'm going to show you the difference between the products. This is a thickish product. Look at, it's very thick. See that? So when you apply it, it doesn't run, especially on a slanted roof like this. So I use it on a seam like this. After I've cleaned the seam, okay, I use turbo poly seal. All right, let me just finish this one here. And then I'm going to show you, I use a super silicone seal for the same purpose. My suggestion is Turbo Poly Seal is, is a very good product, but I think it needs a coating. Where's my coating? It needs this silver coating to protect it against ultraviolets. So if you're gonna do a Turbo Poly Seal and it's gonna be in a very exposed sun uh, down south, New Mexico, Texas, uh, I suggest you got to use uh, what you call it uh, super silicon seal now let me do one strip with super silicon seal and I'll show you the difference okay all right so this is a turbo poly seal I did a, a seam here let me do another that's gonna slide the roof once everything wants to slide off here so yeah I'm gonna do super silicon seal okay same thing I dab I uh, I like it. I mean, it, it works faster, easier. Okay. Um, much faster. It's a little more liquid. So you gotta. All right. This is how I do it. I dab the screws. I don't put the fleece over the screws. But this is what it looks like. Super silicone seal. All right, let me put this fleece down. See, it stuff runs a little bit. You see that? How I have to worry, worry about it? All right, so let me get it done. All right, here we go. So super silicone seal. I like it because it's, I never have to come and coat it. It, it, it's, 
UV protected by its na by nature. All right, so there you go. It's not as tacky. Turbo Poly Seal is very tacky. You can put a fleece down and it will stay. This one you have to work it a little bit and get it nice and flat like that. And then you add another coat over that. That's super silicon seal. Not as tacky as a uh, as turbo poly seal, okay? But there you go. I did both. I think with super silicon seal you have to do another coat after this cures a little bit because you can see it, the fleece, you can see a little bit of the fleece there and you don't want the fleece to be exposed so um, you might have to do a, another third coat over that so when this stuff runs, you, you put it too thick on, you can see it runs Oish. everything wants to slide here, let me put this down alright here we go so there's your super silicon seal, the difference between turbo poly seal and super silicon seal. Look at that. You see, you need to come for the second coat. And that's what the difference is, okay? <sighs> yep. That's it. I like it. I like them both. Now, I do the same with the screws. You can see we use super silicon seal on this whole roof. Look at the screws here. You see? Super silicon seal everywhere we dab it. And that works fantastic, but you can do the same. You can do the same with a turbo poly seal. You can dab every screw, but I suggest you paint it with silver coating. Either one, both good. You'll never, never regret it. The the secret, and now here's the secret, is preparation. We took off all this other junk, caulking, silicon, latex. The seams are exposed. We have metal around the screws, around the seams. We don't leave anything. That's the secret. And then you can do a good job. All right, I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah, blah, blah.